what an incredibly beautiful day and place to celebrate Emily and Doug and their love for each other. Welcome to all of you, Doug and Emily's community, family and friends who have supported them up to this moment. And we'll continue to support them as a married couple. I think I speak for both Emily and I. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> I know how marriage works, I know. Um, I think I speak for both of us when I say that we feel so incredibly fortunate um, in so many aspects of our lives, and I think two of the most important are, are on display tonight. The first, of course, the reason that we're all here is that Emily and I have found each other. Nothing's ever felt this right Crossing the earth by your side no, nothing's ever felt this way before. So once a year, Doug, starting in school and since then, has invited a group of his Tufts friends down to Hingham for 4th of July. And if you know Emily, you may know this about her, Emily gets seasick. And every year it comes time to go sailing, and Emily, like, Emily just gets on the boat. <laughs> and, I'm, and we go sailing, and Emily gets sick. <laughs> But she doesn't complain about it, and the next year she does it again and again. <laughs> and it's amazing to me, because I've learned this about Emily that I didn't know before, that she is tougher than she looks. And she loves the heck out of Doug. Because this is something that Doug loves, and so she wants to be a part of it. It's just like this wonderful sign um, that, that I know you guys are going to be great. So congratulations. I mean, Emily, you're you're getting a great guy here. He's a total mensch. Doug, <laughs> appreciate what you have um, because, like I said, she's tougher than she looks. So just just be good to her. Yeah. Emily and Doug um, signed a ketubah earlier, a Jewish marriage contract, and in it, they promise wonderful things to each other. Through this union, we vow to value and support each other, always striving to show sensitivity to each other's needs. We shall nurture one another emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually, always mindful of our respective qualities and strengths. You both said that you complement each other. Emily is heart-focused and Doug is head-focused. And you both value that you complement each other. Emily said his even-keeled rationality is a wonderful complement to my personality. And Doug said she knows how to sometimes put logic aside and just love from the heart. I think we could all see from the start that you two had something very special. And I literally mean we could all see it because your first kiss is a very public makeout session. <laughs> Surrounded by all of your classmates in a tough senior pub night. <laughs> Doug picked me up from college and drove me home. And we stopped in Queens that day. And that was the first time I met Emily. And, you know, it's, since then we've met, we've spent tons of time together, but living with the two of them <laughs> was just a, an amazing insight into the life that they've built together. When Emily was living in Egypt and Doug was in Peru, we did a lot of update emails. And from September 18th, 2008, when she was talking about Doug, she said, I think about him nonstop, which is kind of unhealthy. I want to be with them so badly. <laughs> and to get to spend time with them together, you just know that they're so perfect for each other. They laugh together, they make each other laugh. It's, it's wonderful, and I'm so happy for you guys. And I just want to say congratulations. Amazing. <laughs>
Doug, Emily, in this Sinai moment, and for the days, months, and years ahead, may you both continue to get strength from knowing who you are, trusting yourselves, trusting each other, and continuing to learn from and grow with each other. With love and joy, I now pronounce you, husband and wife, you may break the glass and kiss each other. Mazel So many of the ways that make Emily the perfect partner for me, that make us so compatible in our relationship so strong, um, are things I would have never known to look for. And I feel so lucky that I stumbled across this beautiful woman, this wonderful woman. And um, over the past six years, her warmth, her quirks, her limitless capacity for love have brought me so much happiness and comfort. And words truly don't exist to describe how happy I feel to be spending the rest of my life with her.